How's it going? Fox back again. Um, I was doing uh, a bit of a drum steppy sort of session during a live stream the other day. I made some cool sounds. This is one of them. Uh, it's going to be available in my new Serum sound pack when it's done. <clears throat> it's going to be aimed towards more heavier styles of music like complexro, dubstep, drum step, drum and bass. And uh, this is going to be one of the effects. It's sort of a downwards pitch drop effect, I'll call it. So yeah, this is the sound we're going to be making. <laughs> Um, I'll let you hear it in context of the little thing that I did. So yeah, uh, I'll call it a pitch drop effect. Um, you're not going to be able to download this. I'm not going to give it away free. If you want it, you're going to have to make it because um, it is going to be in my new pack. But yeah, that said, I'm going to go ahead and initialize this. And I am going to show you how I made it. So, this was a digital waveform and it was Rafe. Doesn't look like much when you look at it like that. Um, I'm going to give it four voices unison, quite a lot of detune, a wave tape position, all the way as far to the right as you can. So, it was this sort of signy wave waveform with like a real bit of grit in the middle. Um, I used a bit of asymmetry plus and negative and I moved it all the way to the negative side and then pushed it back a little bit made sort of a dready bassy sort of start to the sound this waveform is real good this wavetable wraith there's a lot of good that being said it was taking care of the lower part of the sound um, oscillate b is a standard sawtooth pitched an octave up Four voices unison again, quite heavy on the D-tune again. Uh, these sort of pitchy effects sound real good when there's a lot of spread on them. Uh, yeah, an easy way to do that is with D-tune. So yeah, quite static at the minute, nothing to the patch. Um, the amp envelope, I didn't do nothing. How we sculpt this sound all comes from envelope 2, it does a lot of work. Um, the main thing we use it to do is uh, the pitch drop effect, which is the coarse pitch oscillator A and B so drag it drop it over it we're then going to go to the matrix section it's easier to control it in it um, it's easier to visualize what's going on we only want the pitch drop to go one way so we want to make sure it's unipolar and um, bipolar means it's going to swing it off its axis both ways that's what this arrow depicts so we want them both to be unipolar going one way and we want them to both go up two octaves so plus 24 Bear with me, I haven't found it. I haven't found a way to do this easily. At the minute, it's not pitch dropping, it's not going up or down because the attack is instant, it's just going up two octaves to that point. You could probably hear in the sound when I did it, there was a little bit of an attack going up to it. I had it on about 120 milliseconds, make it quite linear. You went, want, then want no sustain, and then you control the length of the pitch drop with a decay. <laughs> Sounds pretty good where it is. <laughs> you can re the, these envelopes from Serum are excellent. Being able to control the slope, the decay, and the attack. This sound design makes the, the, the sound design possibilities that you've got massive. <laughs> I wanted quite constant, so. <laughs> Sounding pretty good. As I say, you can play with this yourself. You can really, really change the way the sound is affected. But for now, we'll do an attack of 116 milliseconds and a de decay of about 830. It's pretty much dead linear, just with a slight slope. Yeah, the only thing I got this to control was the filter. Uh, I chose a flanging filter for the effect that I wanted. It to, uh, I wanted it to sound quite metallic, so I used it as a HL6 plus. Um, when you drive this, introduce this HLO wild. You can see what it does, and the resonance makes it go a bit bonkers. 
in the starting point I had there. And uh, yeah, just use the same envelope, envelope two, just to whip it, whip it round to sort of flange it the higher up, the lower the pitch drop came. <laughs> same again, you hear what happens when we change this. <laughs> so yeah, you, it's a shame you can't apply the macro knob to that, to the curve, curvature. That'd be very, very cool. So you could assign a macro knob and then play with it as you want. Yeah, you get the gist of it. That's created a massive sort of flanging effect running with the pitch drop. I did use quite a few effects. I used a hyper dimension. Uh, literally just turned it on and the dimension. I used a delay. In this order, um, I unsynced it. I had the left at 10.48. Very, very quick, these are. It's almost like creating a chorusy sort of effect. Without. It's just creating a very, very, very fast delayed signal. I mean, you can probably do it just with a one. That's what a chorus is, it's two two or maybe even four separate delay lines delayed from the original single signal and then when this is modulated, that's how you get the movement with a chorus, very slow modulation obviously. But yeah, I did that. Um, some people aren't going to want to do that, so we will add a macro to that. It does sound good without it, but it did add a little bit something extra for me when we added the reverb. So we'll call that delay, so you can pull that in or out. I'll leave it in for now. Um, distortion, I use a diode one. Anybody who knows me knows this is my favourite. Distortion, uh, just pull the mix down. Phaser. This is a neat trick. I've been doing a lot lately with a phaser. Um, if you turn the rate and the depth totally off so there's no modulation within the phaser whatsoever, um, you can then pinpoint where the downward sort of spikes of the notches are with this frequency knob. <laughs> or modulate them yourself with an envelope, which I did. This envelope too, the same envelope that's been doing all the work. Yeah, neat trick. No, no rate, no depth. Modulate the frequency yourself with an envelope, and then use an EQ. Um, the EQ was really all about sculpting the sound. It was quite a high pitched sound, so I used a low pass filter. High pass filter. Sorry. Uh, Q. I pull down and the gain. <laughs> Um, I then just boosted the highs with a high shelf, ever so slightly. Um, and then was a reverb at the end. Now I've got the reverb outside the EQ. I'll show you what it sounds like outside and then in. Size, I pulled down a bit. Tiny bit of pre-delay, damping, width. So that's outside the EQ. Subtle difference, it was a lot more prominent inside the EQ, I thought it sounded better where it was. That's it. Nothing else to it. I didn't change anything. No LFOs, just one envelope doing all the work. It's very easy to control everything and keep it quite rhythmical if you just use one envelope to do all the work. So here it is again inside the track. <laughs> Again, change the slope. <laughs> very, very cool um, pitch drop effect with Serum. As I say, and uh, keep an eye out within the next month, my, this sound pack will be ready for release. I'll let you know on here and on my Facebook page when it's done. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed this. Cheers.